Hello, praise God, praise God. I'm going to wait till you guys, act, no, that's too much light. I'm going to wait till you guys get on here. I'm going to wait till you guys get on here. I just got something. I want to hit it and quit it because just got off um, doing class, so, which is very powerful. So if your students are listening, great job. You did that. You did not let the enemy win. Praise God. Praise God. All right. So uh, you see my title. I'm going to wait till a couple of more of you get on here and then I'm going to go. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you all. How you doing, Kim? Praise God. Praise God. All right. Y'all rolling in. All right. So, excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit it and quit it. You all know that God is realigning the body of Christ. He's putting everything back in order. Praise God. Praise God. Right. So if you see my title titles the first title that god gave you is who you are okay and i'm a, it's going to be plain simple and to the point you are not an apostle or doctor reven and all this stuff as a matter of fact some of you are not going to like what i'm getting ready to say but that's okay as long as it's the order of god so many of you when you first started your calling as i did in 2000 what six when they actually 2003 when Pastor Yancey first told me who I was, point blank in the story, it was a prophetess. As you can see, I went back to the first. God said, as it was in the beginning, so is it now. Meaning that a lot of you, when people start ordaining people, apostles and prophets, everybody switched. Pastors became apostles. Pastors became prophets. Pastors became doctors. God said, what you were when he first called you is who you are. All those extra titles is not of God. I'm going to say it like I said the other day. There's a big cover coming. Every, everything, everybody and everything can get it is getting exposed. God is realigning. God is putting everything back in order. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. So that first thing he gave you, if you, you, knew, if you know he gave you pastorship, then that's who you are. So what am I saying? God said too many of you are actually operating out of the title with what he originally gave you. You know what I'm saying? And, and look, I get it. It's a process. Most people don't want, look, I don't, I don't care. Look, God got to tell me. Can I tell y'all something? God been using people, men and women, since the beginning. <laughs> it's like, I got to hear from God. Well, guess what? God uses people. He uses Joshua. He used Moses. He used David. He used Nathan. He used Samuel. He used all the prophets. And can I tell you something? As it was back then, is it? It is now. Y'all don't listen to us. Mm -mm. God gotta. God gotta come down. <laughs> or rearrange your life. No, I like he won't. Because let me tell you something about God. And I think you all know this, and you should if you don't. The Holy Spirit always speaks to you and say, "Don't do that. Don't do this. This is wrong." That's only if you operate in obedience and you have a covenant and you're doing things in orderly fashion. So when a person go to you, you already was wrong the first time because the Holy Spirit already told you that's not right. I I'm going to talk to you guys tonight. And it's really real. Just like, do y'all remember the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, 70s? I want y'all to know when does when did doctors started coming in? When this new age started, when everybody, oh, I'm a doctor now. The only physician that was in the Bibles were actually physicians. Jesus wasn't even a doctor. He was Dr. Jesus. <laughs> I'm just saying. He didn't have no MD, no PH, no DD. Hallelujah. And that's it. That's what God told me to say. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I pray. And, and, and even if you don't receive something, you know what you do? You listen. And you're supposed to go pray about that thing. God is what she's saying is real. God, give me confirmation. God, give me clarity. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I want to warn y'all about something too. Them stimulus check. 
When did the government ever care about giving you money? Come on, somebody. I hope y'all hear me tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking thus saith the Lord. When did the government ever care about giving us money? They fatten us up for the kill. That stimulus, because they got another one coming. I see it. They got another one coming. Remember I said it. That $600, no, they got something else coming. But it's going to be attached to getting that vaccine. That was the play the whole time. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord, that was the play the whole time. So I pray in the name of Jesus that y'all understand what's going on. I'm not going to stay on here long. I just got out of class. I'm very, very tired, but I really had to get up on here and read this word tonight. So God bless you. God keep you. I pray that y'all understand we're in high time. The devil is busy. The devil using everybody. He really is everybody because there's a, there's a shift. There's y'all don't feel it. There's a shift. There's a dimensional shift. Let me tell y'all, I got to tell y'all something that happened yesterday. If you've been following my ministry, you know, I'm very transparent on purpose. So when I was in Sacramento and I think I left in 2015, 16, something like that, right? One of them years. I told y'all that when I was down there, how I used to prophesy every time I went to a store, I mean, it'd be like hours. What if I told y'all, I, I just got to testify. I just got to testify. Hallelujah to his name. I just got to testify. So yesterday I'm going to the store. I'm in Walmart. And this young man, we, we talking. And he said, I'm not going to be here forever. I don't, I don't even know what made him say that to me. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, talk to him about his detailing. I said, well, you're supposed to be detailing. He said, me and my dad just talked about that. And I just went on and told him, I said, son, I'm a prophet. This is just confirmation. I said, don't be wilder with me. I said, but God wants you to get your own business. Then I went to the Dollar Tree. That's why I get my little cleaning supplies. I, I just showed y'all how to budget. So anywho, that awesome is good. I'm telling you that awesome is so good. Did y'all know that, that, that yellow awesome, you put a little bit in your clothes, even in your white clothes, color clothes, just a little bit. It, it cleans your clothes and it makes them brighter and whiter. Okay, I just gave y'all something for free. So anywho, the girl, I, I'm checking out, and all of a sudden she said, would you work here for $7 an hour? And I looked at her. I said, the Holy Spirit just told me you're supposed to be doing hair. She said, me and my dad just, I'm not lying. She said, me and my dad just talked about that yesterday. I said, honey, do what God has told you to do. And I, 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 I actually ministered to her. I said, you, you have to be strong now. Because when you work for yourself, it's a different ball game. You, you, you got to be your own boss. You got to be ready. You got to be in season, out of season. And I say this to say, so when I left them, I went in the car and I'm being transparent on purpose. I, I just started crying. I hadn't did that for years. I'm just being honest. I'm just being me. I cried. I cried. And I'm going to keep it sharp. I said, I'm back. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. I said, I'm back. Oh, you don't know. It feels good. And I'm not saying I ever love God, but sometimes you can go through so much. Come on, somebody. I'm testifying so much that, 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 that oh, I'm the only one. You can go through so much to where you just, I don't know what you call it. Back up. Stop doing what you used to do. I don't know what you call it. Processing. Guessing. I don't know what you call it. But all I know is when that happened, I said, uh oh, I always had the gift. Don't get it twisted. But now it's magnified. I said, uh oh, they in trouble. Not for real. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and I know to most people it ain't nothing. But for a prophet, y'all understand what I'm saying. When since because I have been hit since 2014, 15, back to back with stuff. Anybody that follow me, you know what I'm talking about. And I don't know if it made me just pull back from God a little bit and I give him my all. But lately I've just been giving him my all and I see the gifts just is just opening up like it used to. Come on, somebody. I'm just keeping it honest, 100, because that's what you need. Most pe men and women of God, they like to have it all together all the time. The devil is alive. We go through too. Hallelujah. But I've been holding on. I've been, I've been having tenacity like I ain't never had. It's all or nothing, God. I want all of you. I don't care if I leave, if they leave me, if they stay, if they mock me, if they whatever. Hallelujah. I just want you, God. Hallelujah. It felt good yesterday. And I said, God. <laughs> I mean, he always, I mean it, it, it was just like it used to be. I didn't go nowhere without ministering. 
Because that's what it's all about. And it was so crazy because at the Dollar Tree, so I'm talking to her. And then another lady, she said, what you saying so I could tell my daughter? That's ministry. And I'm not trying to make myself look all good. That's what we got to get back to, ministry. The enemy then came in and got us thinking about us, our brand, our business, our cars, our legacy, all that stuff, which don't matter. It's about souls. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. We got to get back to souls. People are dying out there because we're too busy up in the church trying to build a church and not the people. I just said it. People are dying out there because guess what? We're not touching them with the power of God, with the testimony of God, with the presence of God. There it is. We can do nothing. But by my spirit, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I didn't got happy up in here. So that's all I want to say. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Like I said, I just got out of class. I'm real tired. Whew. And then I told y'all something good, right? Um, I'm going to end it with this. You know how you just need those little crumbs every now and then. So I was praying earlier today. And I told y'all on this fest, I've been seeing miracle signs and wonders, right? So I was just praying. Me, just me and God. And I said, God, you know. I don't know, I just need a little more, more, more because I just want to do so much for God, right? And I got that email. You guys, you guys, I'm not going to say everything because we're having the meeting tomorrow. This is a Christian company. I remember writing them 10, 14 years ago because I thought I could write like TD Diggs. You know, I know I could write, but you know, I thought it was that good then. Then I ain't know nothing. Now I know a little bit something. And of course, they shut me down. When I got that email from them same people, I say, Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. Um, we went on your website and we've been checking out your material. We want you to come on our site. Y'all remember how YouTube and everybody else been tripping with, with my stuff? It's a national site. Oh, y'all know the name real, but I'm not going to say nothing because tomorrow we're having our um, meeting and everything. But I was like, I know that was God. And hold on, because I don't want to move fast no more, right? I waited. I said, God, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure that's you. Give me confirmation. And I would say about maybe two hours later, God gave me confirmation. I said, okay, I'm supposed to roll with it because that's another thing. We got to stop moving so fast. Everything good in God. And I I don't know about you. I don't want to be going around. So we're getting older. We don't need to, we don't have time for that. Not to mention it's high time. So everything that we do, it got to be God for real. It can't be, I thought it was God. It sounded like God. No, no, no. It, it has to be God. Hallelujah. So I'm excited about that. I will let you know when we solidify it tomorrow. Praise God. God spare life and everything. But um, so that's it. So I was excited. I was like, I remember writing them, what, 10 to 14 years ago. Yes. S same people. And I was like, <laughs> don't tell me that ain't God. Don't tell me it ain't God. Because I, I, you know, I'm trying to, I was trying to get, a, um, still trying to get my own channel. Y'all know it takes a lot to do that and I was like God what am I gonna do these people are are getting ready to give me the platform for a national platform a Christian company a good Christian company may I say that I was like that has to be God because you know YouTube trying to shut me down Facebook be doing stuff too so now when I tell y'all go to this site and get my videos and listen to the thus said the Lord now you'll be able to go. Praise God. All right, you guys. God bless you. God keep you. And y'all know who this is. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless. Have a blessed night, everyone.